Carlos Ferro, the voice of Dominic Santiago in Gears of War. And I'm in the open area. This is where it's going down. And Optics is killing it. Too, like you're part of the team and you're like, you're like, yeah. like oh. just pretend for on, they might kick you out like that other guy they kicked out that was me <laughs> that was me it's gonna be three hours <laughs> wait when did we got to redo that you need a few That's more rips in those jeans I think huh a few more yeah his fucking pocket's falling out his pocket he literally had to put yeah, his pocket cool back as, inside cool of his jeans fuck, huh I said you're cool as fuck though thanks bro it's got shoes cost more than mine look at this look at this Nice. Yeah, what you know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, mid just shot me, bro. Sweet there. What? Who got the closer Why? spawn? Yeah. Yo! Uh, run it back. We're scrimming. Oh, we're scrimming? Bro, Teach cannot beat me in one view of fire. I was literally range. shitting on him so bad that I stopped trying to. It's just Yo, he literally. Teach cannot beat me in one view of fire. Range. It just doesn't happen. You're gonna say you weren't trying when you were at 30 nothing? He's a Bram or Teach, that's why. No, I was gonna compliment him. You wouldn't beat me either. I don't think you beat me with a Maddox. Um, so, watching the PLQ, uh, obviously a lot of top teams that we expected to make it in uh, fell. So teams like FaZe, um, G2 didn't make it in. Those were like the two big ones that kind of surprised me. So when we were thinking about who we were going to get as a sub, I mean, we immediately looked at FaZe just because we've been friends with those guys for a really long time. I mean, Tommy's been a friend of ours for a long time, and we've been getting a lot of criticism for some reason. Like, people act like they know what's going on. Uh, people are like, why would you get a sub player knowing that Dashy was going to have issues? And we were like, bro... We didn't know that we were going to have issues, uh, or we didn't know that Dashy was going to have issues. Like, we were just picking up a good player that we could potentially work with. So when we heard that Dashy was the one with the problems, we kind of freaked out because we were like, oh, shit. Right whenever Bruce said it in the team chat, I'm pretty sure Teej said, like, one and six first, first split or something like that. And everyone was like, Ian got mad. Ian was like, why are you saying that? Like, shut up. I started laughing. Uh, obviously because Bruce is our, you know, best player at this point in time. So, I mean, we were all joking around, but we were like, we were pretty shocked and a little bit nervous coming into it. How are you feeling, baby? Good, baby. Yeah, fired up. Let's go, man. You need, you need anything? Nope. Thank you, Tom Swayer. Let's get it, baby. Oh! Oh, my fuck. Every time we get old, on man. here, do we have to do Jesus. this, like, analog? Maybe I was just tight. Yeah, sitting in that fucking chair, bro. I hate those chairs. Like, I was frying when we played red, and then, dude, my back started hurting sitting in that shit, and I started eating. Fun. Yo, Tommy, you hear me? Yeah, I hear you. I think you start off hossy with a Maddox, and if things aren't going your way, make the call if you need to switch. Okay. But we really need to just control those hot, top halls, bro. Yeah. yeah. If you just keep hovering around open and rock side with the Maddox, and if, you, if you're just getting, you know, if it's not going for you, then you do what you need to do. Yeah, can't oh God, 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 now it's TJ's God, turn. God, He's able to find one in the shed. And this is the second time where we've rotated defenses where Optic, it didn't look like they had control early on and they've just been able to break the Midnight setup. This is a couple of times where Midnight's probably need to watch, watch his back and say, this was our opportunity to break on in the game and maybe get that lead. Scump now able to find two with that slide punch, able to connect onto him and now it's Karma's turn. Now he's on a force free start. Oh my God, I thought you guys helped me on lobby. Fuck, bro. That was 
rough. I mean, judging by our scrims, it wasn't going to go well either way. If we won that first map, we could have done something, but I knew Arsenal were about to get fucking smoked. Just to let you guys know, we played those maps backstage, got fucking smoked on all of them. <laughs> so we weren't expecting much. We were just trying our best, to be frank. Well, I don't know why we played them on Arsenal control. That was a bad, that was bad. I regret that, dude. I only, I only thought about it after it. We were getting fucking pounded. That's the map. We're they were shitting too. on us like, online. You guys might be good at Hostiana with Dashi, but like, if we could play them on like a frequency or a seaside or some shit, you I know what I'm saying? Like, we might be able to just cry them yeah. with straight gun skill. Well, I was like, we're good. we're gonna have to play Arsenal Hardpoint or Hacienda, one of the two. I'd rather play Hacienda than Arsenal. That's, that's what I thought, too. Is that that Hacienda hard point wasn't that bad. No. It really wasn't. They just turned up on Rock. You guys didn't get a kill for the last two heels. We got a lot of hate after we lost to Midnight, but, I mean, not to make excuses, but we played five maps together before we went into that series. So, I mean, that on top of us not knowing what to run, we had Tommy on the Maddox, and it just didn't click well. I mean, we did our best. I think we threw away, like, the first map against them. I think we probably could have won that, but then the SND, like was just terrible, and then the control was even worse. I mean, it was just <clears throat> timings for everyone were off. When you're used to playing with a player for four months and then randomly pick up you know, someone out of thin air, it's like everything changes, and that affects everyone on the team around the map just because we're so used to Bruce picking up certain things. We know Bruce's tendencies, like all that. So, I mean, the first match was bound to be a disaster. But, like I said, I'm just glad that we bounced back. We put in the extra time, you know, getting some scrims in before our matches. We were showing up earlier than we normally would to, to get some extra scrims in and play. And now that we have a role complex that I guess everyone's comfortable in, we've already gotten better. And it's like, it's taken two days of practice. And I think that's pretty insane to me. So to see us mesh like that in such a short amount of time is a, a really good sign. So we're making the best out of a bad situation. Seems like you guys are meshing a lot better. No, yeah, we... Those scrims were actually really good. Yeah. I just started getting fucking tired, bro. I don't fucking understand. I think having him on Tempest is much, much better. Oh, yeah, he's doing well with it. They were not fucking with me, son. Dude, now I want to run a Maddox, bro. <laughs> God damn it. I want to be sad again tonight, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I might have listened to Drake. Right? I was up till 7 just fucking cranking my meat. <laughs> Gotta do better set. I have nothing else to do. Gotta do better set. Auto sprint? I think that dog. No, Police it. It's not warranted. <laughs> You're good now, man. I'm not doing your work. I miss you guys. Remember me? He's gonna find himself falling down. Knight's found another kill that is 10 to 3 for Knight as Karma evens the playing field. Oh, this is huge. If Optic can get in there, Scumpy finds one. He's now got Skies in his sights. Beautiful bit of work, but he can't get it done now. Karma comes in to finally get it done, and that would have been a tremendous round win for UIU. Still in control. They're looking for that third and final tick onto B. Will they get it? Is he gonna contest? We'll have to wait and see. Nope, gonna happen here as they jump in, and the final one will be dispatched in Karma. Mr. Three Rings, absolutely beautiful there as he goes and finds three to end it. Nice, baby. Let's go. I whipped Annihilator that entire series. Bro, if I see a Hellstorm or Lightning not on mid hill on this map, I'm like gonna talk. Yeah, you should like use both. I'm gonna actually push face. Like, that's like the only hill you can actually get value out of street. I just thought that the, I didn't know that there was that fucking bridge the whole way across the map. Even if it is, you're not getting more than one. Hey, thanks. Uh, he's up there. Never mind. I'll be good. Woo! Gifts. Who sent that to you? Write some ass callers. They're league matches, bro. Ass. I gotta be in the bowl, bro. All right, man. I'm just saying, get a little, get a two piece. I mean, yeah, get a you know. Loud, you know what I'm saying? Get a little hype. A little bit. You don't gotta be crazy about it. It's not tourney though, you know. I, I, I mean, it ain't playoffs. It ain't event, but That's what I'm saying. little two piece. Ah, seven K. Give me one seven K. Seven K. Come on, man. You get seven K? I'm gonna get like five. <laughs> Only five? That's fair. Yeah. Fifty five. Fifty five. Yeah. Yeah. We'll go fifty five hundred. And I'm gonna get a lightning, but I'm gonna choke the rest of my streaks. Yeah, you probably have a stun too. 
Probably. Being pulled out here. It's mayhem in game three. Six lives for Optic. Four now for Reciprocity. Wuskin, he's got to hit some shots. He's got three left. What he's got to hit some around. shots. Can't do it. Two left. He's stunned. He's picked. Last man, Dins, he's out, and that is back-to-back -back respawn victories for Optic Gaming. But wow, did all hell break loose. There but he can't find one. Zuma a 2v2 now. Optic's got bomb. Bottom middle. Zuma just kind of waiting for a bit of help here so they can sync up and make sure they at least trade. This will be the one-on-one -on -one that likely decides it. And Wuskin guns Karma, oh. but now done to a 1v1. Zuma versus Dins. I spot him. What timing he just got. I thought for a second Dins was going to be facing, get eyes on it, but a second he turns to get back towards elbow. Zuma goes out flying and he clutches up. Talk about taking. Give me that. Start running slow and then. Let's go talk about T square. Good fucking week, though, yeah. Not bad at all. I think 3-1 and one was one of the best case scenarios, honestly. I mean, 4-0 and oh is obviously best, best case, but I honestly thought we were going to go like 2-2, two and 1-3 two, and three maybe. After that first match, I was like, shit, this just isn't working. Like, we just got manhandled. We were getting manhandled in the scrims beforehand as well. We were scrimming Gen G, and they were making us look like complete bots, and I was like, wow. So that probably didn't help our morale going into the match against Midnight, who had a lot of hype around them and a lot of momentum coming into the league, so... I mean, after that, I was like, shit, this could go really, really badly. Like, we could finish this week like two and five, or this first split, if we don't get Bruce back. But to finish three and one is, is really reassuring. Um, and we're going to have a hard week next week. So if we can just get one or two next week, I'll be completely happy, like above expectations to go five and two uh, or six and one even. Four and three wouldn't even be that bad. Just as long as we're like in the hunt, uh, before we get Bruce back, I'm happy with. So, I mean, Tommy's done a great job, and we're really thankful and grateful that he has been so cooperative and selfless. Like, he hasn't given us any flack. He's like, dude, whatever you guys want me to do, I'll do it for the team. Like, I'm coming in here. This isn't my team. I'm just trying to help out. So he's been really, really good about the situation and really cool about it. So, um, yeah, five. I, I would be really happy with 5-2, and two. like super happy. So 3-1 and one was great to start off with. Pastoogie right there, you see it? <laughs> Going into the event, we were very dominant, like online, going into practices. Uh, we did slip up and lose like a 2K in like the second or like third round, but that was really just from us like not trying. Uh, so after we lost that one 2K, like we, we won the next one pretty easily. It was the last one before Mexico and uh, we had still had been on like a, like a seven something win streak against the Nile. So, uh, going into that event, Denial was our biggest competition, so us having that edge over them, like, we were very comfortable and very confident going into it.
and take them seriously. Should be interesting. Stand up! Stand up! Make some noise! Wake me up! Wake me up! Mad pussy! Fuck out of here! I'll definitely go! Hey! Talk to me! Talk to me! You're not winning this match! There's no tiebreaker! There's not gonna be a tie adverse! You're my bitch! The past couple teams that, like, or the past couple rosters that we've had, I felt like us being angry, like, too angry, like, didn't help us at all. But with this team, I feel like when we get mad, like, it actually shows, like, in our gameplay. Like, it, you, at that point, you're playing two different teams. And, like, if you ever want to beat us, like, don't give us that little spark that, that, that we actually need, like, in order to come back in a map, you know? Like, like seeing people stand up, especially on side stations. Like, on main stage, it doesn't really matter much because you literally can't hear anything. But on side stations where, like, it's literally the setups go like this. And, like, when you stand up, like, I'm going to see you. Like, just, just don't do it. Oh, you're doing it? Yeah. All right. Welcome. 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 All right. So, so this is Summons. Orlando. This is Summons. This is Ash, all right? This is the coach. This is the young god. We just beat... Orlando Reapers, we yeah. went to a, uh, first man was pretty slight, 7-0, 7-1, 7-0, 7-0, second man right now was uh, a little bit more closer, I think like 7-2, something like that, yeah. but uh, yeah, that's it for full play, finished 3-0, and, and now we're about to play Speedy and Co, I forgot the team name, Buddy Buddy, Buddy Buddy, Buddy. that should be winners back in round one, so we'll see you guys soon. We just got done lunch, um, myself and wherever my team went, um, we ate way too many tacos at the same taco spot we've been going to every single time because it's right across the street from the hotel. And uh, now we play a team called Buddy Buddy, uh, probably on side station. Um, should be a pretty easy match. I'm just going to keep talking because Roger has to walk backwards. And this is actually way more, like anything that you guys are watching on camera is way less interesting than what I'm getting to watch right here because he's going to fall. There's like two steps coming up, a little handicap ramp. Roger's dead, and that camera's broken. Pretty much we ended up playing Simplicity in the winner semis. And that match honestly was like a two, I think it was a two one. They ended up taking our first map against us, which was Impact. Uh, honestly, we're really good on Impact. I just feel like we weren't, uh, we weren't on the same page the entire map. Uh, we were really disappointed. Uh, like they even went, we even, we went tiebreaker with them. We were all really pissed off. Like not because like they beat us on a map, but the way we were playing. And so uh, pretty much tiebreaker, uh, it showed like how mad we were. We ended up winning that map easy, like seven one. Or somebody's grandma. Yeah. 
<laughs> well, we need to educate the <laughs> Brody, uh, okay, girl. that's not a diaper. Wait, what? That's not a diaper. What's that? It's a pad. <laughs> I think I think everybody want to watch that match against IC and uh, you know the now you know the rivalry we have the entire season and last season. Start tossing these names towards the now franchise has to be annoying. He kills his own teammate, but he gets another one. Mental's gonna pick up three kills, including the one against Bray. Solars is gonna get the drop shot. Wow. And Optic Gaming answers right back. That incendiary oh. nade goes down. He can't do anything about it. He's gonna be up to Mental by himself one more time. It's Optic Gaming loses this round. Mental's uh -oh. gonna go down. Solars off with the respawn, but I don't think he's gonna get there in time. And the winners' finals against the Now uh, was definitely not expected. We were very, uh, you know, we were very shocked the way we lost because we actually got beat up pretty bad. Like first map, even though it was seven six, it should have not been seven six. I think we we lost every single initial, and uh, if they did it, if they closed out every single round like they should have, they probably should have won like seven one. But uh, yeah, they they beat us really bad first map and second map. I think we ended up winning sec. Oh no, actually we got two in in the final so. Uh, yeah, the now pretty much beat, beat us up. Bro, no lie, bro. Like, victory, like, it's gonna be that much sweeter. That's right. 100%. That much sweeter. 100%. Right now, bro, right now, we're good, bro. We're good, we're good. We're the best Yo, team in the world. Whatever we play right now, like, bro, let's try to polish up our shit. Best I almost want to play both those maps. Best team in the world, bro. Right? We're, we're not losing twice, bro. I swear to God. You know what it takes for us to lose once? Best fucking team in the world, bro, in history. We're literally all that's superstars. That's you understand that? that? Listen that to me. Ball. We're literally the. If any of us were on this team, we'd be the best player in the fucking game right now. I swear to God, win for each other, bro. Fuck this individual shit. Stop moving around on your own. Let me make the play calls, alright? Yep. That's all it is, bro. No one is as smart as us. Individually, as a team, no one is as good as us. Never will be, never have been, bro. It's us beating ourselves. That's all it is, bro. Take our fucking time, like, bro. We're on land. Who cares? Like, play, play with confidence, bro. Play like ourselves. Don't Best players in the Don't fucking world. Bro. Best right. players in the world. After we lost right. that match and I was giving that little speech, like, like the only thing I could feel at that moment was like, it felt like we had lost like the tournament, right? Like, cause usually like if you lose winners finals, like you're supposed to lose, like you're not supposed to win the tournament. Uh, but like we lost, but like, like, like I said, like we like, or at least I, I, I knew that like we were just losing initials cause that was a big part of like the initials in both those maps. Um, I, I just knew that we were losing those initials and that's that's really just Gears of War at the end of the day, right? Like sometimes like some matches you're gonna win all of them, some matches you aren't. And and I knew that like we were better than like what we had just showed. Like usually like prior to this team I guess, like I every time we would lose, like I would just like run off by myself and just listen to music and try to calm myself down, but this team, like, it, it, it's honestly, it, it's it's a brotherhood, right? Like, like I'm so comfortable with all five of these guys that, like, I can just sit here and, like, literally, like, speak from the heart and, like, like that's it. Like, it, it's just, like, I don't know. At that point, I, I pretty much just did not want to lose. Like, I hate losing. Everybody knows that. No one wants to lose. Um, like, I, I pretty much knew that, like, if we had just gotten our head straight and, like, Got some momentum going into these next couple maps, then like we would take it easy. Trying to push forward, trying to make it happen, but Chaos and Desonite are gonna fall. That is bad news bears for Ghost Gaming, especially like I said, boom shot. 25 seconds remaining. Two members of Optic Gaming are gonna push down. They need to contest that boom shot. Monkeys is gonna do what he can, but he's gonna fall. Ghost Gaming seems Ghost to be the e falling right now. Sleeper. They're fighting the E-Hill, but Identum goes down, so the E-Hill will go back in favor of Optic. Look at the triple cap coming through. Sleeper's gonna have to push in. He's gonna have to make something happen. He'll go down, he'll be wiped off the map, and that will be Optic Gaming evening it up, ladies and gentlemen, one to one. This is looking very bad for Ghost, but if you're a fan of Optic Gaming, this is looking very good. Monkeys 
He has to hold the line. He has to be the last saving grace for Ghost Gaming. He's gonna take it out. Identif spawning up. He has to run through three members of Optic Gaming. If he's gonna get a touch, he's gonna get down. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Optic Gaming win your losers finals and advance for a rematch against Denial. So we were very confident, obviously, going to grand finals, even though we did have to win two best of three series, which we haven't done that since London, I think. And it was against Icy as well, so. Uh, we were very confident and I think they were uh, more nervous like closing out the series against us because uh, it's it's really hard trying to like take a championship you know not only do you have to beat a team 2-0 but you just have to, you have to close it out and I think that's the hardest part when it comes to winning a championship so we were definitely really confident and we knew that if we played our game and did what we usually do then we would easily win that event. Praise gets three oh, explosive death rush, and that's going to be one player left alive. Rezik, he was a pain in the butt for summons to deal with last time, but now he's got to deal with all the members of Optic Gaming with all eyes on him. This could be the map. Optic yes, Gaming is. looking to bring this one back, and they're going to get it against Denial. Game one goes to the green wall. Seconds left, and that is it. Optic Gaming have reset the bracket versus Denial. We are going to a second best of three. Denial, here we go. Three Five seconds dead. They had a great event go to boy. But it's not enough. Optic Gaming win 2-0, 2-0. Reset the bracket. They are your Gears Pro Circuit Mexico City Open champions. I pretty much knew off the rip like of Grand Finals that like that was it. Especially round three of map one. Uh, map three of round one. I I did I did some things to them. I like I three pieced them on B and then I, I did some I did something I see on like arcade on their side. And at that point, like I looked at the scoreboard and I had I had just gone off, right? Like I literally just like killed five, I think. I look at the scoreboard and Alex has like three kills less than me and I'm like, oh nah, this is this is getting bad. Like and at that point, like I, I pretty much knew like we would win in a dominant fashion and, and that's exactly what we did. The thing that stood out to me this event was probably like just the heart of the team, you know, like it, it's not even about like us, like the heart of the players, like like we're down 1-0 in losers bracket, like we literally just got stomped on, it wasn't even close. So like I feel like our, our true characters like kind of showed like at, at this moment. Uh, backs against the wall and instead of like trying to like take the situation into our own hands, like we kind of relied on each other. Like we all fed off of each other's energy, like literally all five of us like we're standing up like even alex and billy were, were talking their shit that literally never that i don't think i've been playing with them for years i don't think i've ever seen that happen but like you you could pretty much just tell like the raw passion that we had like like for this game and like for that tournament like we none, none of us wanted to lose uh especially with how we've been performing online lately like we've been so dominant like it, it it's just it, it's not it's pretty much like us losing was not how it was supposed to end and uh we, we did everything in our power to make sure that we won. Thank you.